config. It's going to walk us through importing in the um, WGN beta container into the current container. So first thing you're going to do is go to the admin section of GTM and click on import container. Uh, we'll choose our file. And in this case, it's going to be WGN beta conversion. Um, we're going to choose a new workspace. I'm just going to name this the WGN beta file import. Descripting. And I'm going to say merge and rename any conflicting tags. So in this case, we don't have anything, so nothing should pop up. But um, if you have any conflicts, you can just click on this view detail changes and it'll show you what's going on. As you can see, this changed my workspace from the default workspace. And we should just be able to load the templates. And here's our Pepper Jam template being added in here. So let's go ahead and start creating new tags. So I'm going to go down to this custom section, click on tag. So here's our container tag. So I'm just going to give the name of Pepper Jam container. I know this is going to go on all pages, but I also need to give it our tag ID. Um, so if you ever get stuck on anything, you can just hover over these question marks and I'll give you a little description of what's going on. So I'm going to click on save for that. And then um, I'm going to create a conversion. So go to the same tag and then this drop down, I'll click on conversion tag and that'll change everything. So this, I need my program ID, which is provided to us by Pepper Jam. Um, so in this next step is, um, depends on how you are tagging your site. So uh, if you're already using GTM's built-in data layer, you can just leave this as is, and it will pull all the values um, from that e-commerce data layer object. Um, if you're not, and you need to use either JavaScript or jQuery to pull those um, values in, you'll have to create your own variable. So in this case, I already have a variable created. Oh, no, sorry, I need to create my own variable. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to create a new uh, custom JavaScript variable. So this is going to be your, um, a function that's going to return the values or return, yeah, values from our uh, page. And I'm going to cheat a little bit because I already have this built out. But um, I'm just using some JavaScript um, to basically just DOM scrape um, the values that are on the page. Um, but all this is going to basically populate um, an object. For, and in this object, um, our tag can basically look at each of these key names and pull the value in and populate them into the tag uh, without us having to do any other heavy lifting. Um, so this is gonna be probably the most complicated way or uh, the most code heavy intense way, um, but it will work with the tag and it just depends on how you are um, tagging your site. So let me just create this. I'm just gonna call this the Pepper Jam Ecom variable, or the pepper econ variable. So in this, now that we have this defined, I can add um, optional values. Um, so in my, um, in my e-commerce object, I do have item category being captured. So I'm going to click on that and also coupon. So I'll click on those as well. Um, right here, if we had another lead generation on our site we can click this down and just click on lead or we can even add a new variable that would um, dynamically populate this um, 
this parameter. Um, but really, all this is going to do is just uh, we're just going to leave that as sale. And then uh, for my site, I don't need to know the user type. But what this will do is determine whether it's a new or returning user. Um, and to do that, you just click on that. And you'd have to add a variable to, to handle that logic. And the last thing we'll do is just add a thank you page. So in my case, I'm just going to say, Um, so to QA this, you would just click on this preview tag and make sure that the container is on um, your site and go through um, the site. Um, once you're done and ready, you just click on the submit button and this will then import into your um, default container tag.